Yo! Oh man, that thing's kind of in my face. I gotta sit back here. <laughs> what is going on? So, been super addicted to Gran Turismo 7. I'm playing some more of that. Uh, trying out some new stuff. I got the iPad sitting here for live chat and stuff like that. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to see it. I also removed the little thin rubber face gasket thing on the PSVR 2. Somebody recommended that. I actually tried it out and I kind of like it. So it also makes it easier for streaming and stuff to be able to see the iPad and see what's going on in chat. So hopefully I can pay a little bit more attention to that. Let me see if I get chat connected here. Oh man, my eyesight's so bad, it's still gonna be hard to see. <laughs> I can't make it any bigger, I don't think so. We got James Hussein X, hit the gas. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and hop in. My plan is to just do some more of the uh, menu books and stuff. I've just been trying to get through those. And I've really been enjoying getting through those. So I just uh, I just kind of souped up a um, like a R32 Skyline. So I'm gonna test out that bad boy. Hopefully they'll let me in this race with this thing. Let's see here. I think it's gonna let me. I don't know how this car drives or anything, but I just did uh, <laughs> some work to it, so. Three lap race. All right. Let me recenter this thing here. You know me, I'm a terrible driver, so don't expect much. We'll see if we can win these races. Here, my second. My uh, fan attack wheel is not here yet either. It's supposed to be here Thursday. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. It's supposed to be here in two days. So I'll probably do some more live streaming once that shows up. Super pumped for that thing. Some people were talking about it in the Discord. I do wish there was a way uh, to make it to where these right hand drive cars that you could switch it because like this you know it feels really weird my shifters on the right hand side i'm driving a, a right hand drive car so it's definitely set up you know i'm in america so it's set up for the american cars and it just there's definitely a little bit of a disconnect there i did uh soften up the y'all settings too i went uh Basically off of James settings, I think he's in here in chat. I went off of his settings, kind of turned stuff up a little bit from there. But after playing with it the other day, it feels super weak now and it's like not moving at all. So I might have to change that back. Oh boy. I know a lot of people, the sim racing guys are like, oh, less is more for movement. But man, I, I just like it to have a lot of movement and throw me around. I don't know why, but. all act differently y'all too as well though and I haven't driven this car yet in the y'all too so I'm guessing that could be some of it too but
hopefully I'm going to be able to see out of this uh, headset with the no face gasket on here a little bit better. But I'm so used to playing with the Quest Pro now with no blinders on that the fact that I can see a little bit around the headset actually doesn't bother me. I know some people like are all about no light leaks and stuff, but I honestly don't even notice the peripheral like the surrounding stuff at all. It's kind of weird, but this is only the second time I've played with this headset like this. I need to stop talking. It's so hard to play and talk. But uh, it's only the second time I've played with a headset like this, so I'm still kind of feeling it out. But so far, I actually like it. It's kind of cool. I guess it's kind of cheating again because I sweeped this car up a little bit before I started this race, and these other cars are definitely not as fast, but. It is what it is. Oh boy. It's pretty sweet to see the tram going over there. Oh boy. Watch the road. I need to do some of the roulette tickets too. I've seen that. I, I just got like a couple of them. So I need to go check out those roulette tickets. I forget where to go. I know it's on the main map. And this car, the steering wheel is super jerky in this car. Rally racing. I don't know. This is the menu book I'm on now. The Japanese. I just got the regular Japanese car stuff done, and then I did the all-wheel drive Japanese car stuff, and then I started this one. So I'm not sure when the uh, the rally car stuff is, but I do really want to do that. I think that stuff's a ton of fun to y'all. Like Dirt Rally 2 is ridiculous in this thing. Man, I always forget about this dirt. Even though you see all them bright red barriers. races though. The night races look so ridiculous in this thing with the headlights and the rear view mirror and stuff. would vomit. <laughs> Looks like Copy and VR is going to become GT7 podcast. SRS needs to include more PS racing games in their roster. Need for Speed game would be sick. Yeah, that would be sick. Hopefully they do. I don't know. I know there, there are some other ones. This is the only one I've played, though, for PlayStation. Alright, to the next race. Should be some fast cars, but... Fuji Speedway. I hate the auto drive thing though. That drives me crazy a little bit. I'm guessing the next race might be dark. Because the sun is definitely setting here. The sky sure is pretty though.
Turbo Shark. Hi. Sixth place. Up time on that straight away. <laughs> Try to pass all these cars. when you get in them lower RPMs. Definitely a high RPM car. Uh, so I put the iPad here instead of the phone, but the text in the live chat is still so tiny. Oh boy, looking at the phone again. I need to figure out a way to uh, to get that chat bigger because it is still so hard to see. Now, I don't have my glasses on. I could have put my glasses on under the PSVR too, and that would probably help me a ton because then when I peek through with my glasses on, I actually probably be able to see the chat. Whereas right now, I can't see crap. I think James said he was on his last uh, menu book. I don't know how many there is. I don't know how much past the Japanese card stuff there is, but I'm guessing there's still quite a bit. what some of these songs are. Track didn't wreck, kept from getting passed by everybody. Yeah, yeah. Right, we got one more race in this menu book. Good chunk. Add a pod chunk in there, sim hub. We got some sim hub stuff going on. Need for speed mod in your car in VR will be sweet. I still want Forza Horizon 5 in VR. I think one thing I'm most excited about to get that Fanatec is the shifter. Like this shifter is just so 
like there's just no tension in this thing whatsoever. Like it's just so, and I even put a mod in there to stiffen it up. Like the 3D print mod, it helped for a little bit, but I'm really excited for that shifter. I mean, among other things, but the shifter is more than definitely excited for. Two next race. Let's do this thing. I still need to get that fan attack handbrake too. If anybody sees a good deal on that thing, that's like another 130 bucks or something like that new, I think. Hot on that one. I like this track though. cars in front of me though to tell me when I gotta slow down. <laughs> I see brake lights and I know, uh, oh that must be a hard turn. Got the chopper up there. section here though is pretty fun.
now it's getting dark, but the cars are all back behind me. lights like up there, those stadium lights, and those things are bright in my eyes. headlights on these cars. Gotta win this race though. Where are they at? Oh, there's no ways back there, we're good. Need to adjust my headset too, I'm out of the sweet spot. So it makes it that much harder to see. There's the checkered flag. Just the roulette thing. Select card. Let's go with this one. Got the BMW, okay. The M3, not bad. Not bad. Alright. Let's go see what. See if we can find those other roulette cards. Because I have no idea where to get those things. So that was one more menu book done, just completed. Are the roulette things around here? Sport, legend, multiplayer. Where do you do those things at? I have no idea. Somebody tell me where to do the roulette cards. Uh oh, is this the uh, rally stuff? Oh man, I hope so. Nurburg's not really, but. Oh, BMW book, I already got that one, okay. I thought it was gonna be rally car stuff, but I don't think it is yet. So. Europe. Ooh, the Nurburg ring. Let's go see what the Red Bull ring has got going on. I guess that is not. It's all Red Bull. I thought it was going to be rally car. Oh, man. I got to go shoot this thing up, though. I don't want to drive a stock. That's no fun. Let's see here. Are we in it? No, we're not in it. Let's go get in the BMW. Got to use that one anyways. Let's go soup this thing up. Why is 
it under racing? Can you only do a supercharger? There's no turbo upgrades in racing, which is weird, but let's... You can't do it anyways. No, you can't anyways, because this thing's NA. So I guess you can't add a uh, turbo. still supercharge your turbo car that's not turbo. Maybe I need this. I'm going to try that brake control balancer. Maybe that'll help me stop. You know me. Let's do some mediums. Should run pretty decent. Alright, let's go race this thing. Did my uh, live chat disconnect? It looks like it did. So this chat is disconnected. Let's see if it'll reconnect. Oh, what the heck? That's a bummer. Refresh it. Full screen. Split view. What is that? I don't know what's going on. It looks like my chat is not connecting there. I don't know if I close this out. Go. Now we got chat back. Man, I, I was wondering what was going on. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Eric said he wants this setup. It is a pretty sweet setup. Let me see. Let me take a look at chat here for a second. Oh man, that thing covers my face, huh? And my forehead's probably all red from this dang thing. So how do you do the uh, the? Um, don't these, I don't know if they do affect your suspension, honestly. I haven't played Gran Turismo 7 all that much, but how do you do the roulette cards? Like, where do you go to do those? Oh, and Akaze, you got to, man. It works so good for uh, GT7. I don't know if anybody told me. All right, at least I got the chat back there. All right. All right, let's go try this uh, BMW out. Hopefully this thing runs pretty good. I don't know like if you have to turn on damage and stuff for the cars or if they're just, cause it doesn't seem like my cars are getting damaged, but I know you can like fix them and stuff. So I'm not sure if that's a setting that you have to go into. I mean, this is the first Gran Turismo I've played since one and two. I played a ton of Gran Turismo one and two, but this is the first Gran Turismo I've actually played much of since then. So this is all new to me. Big Forza Horizon guy here. Whoa, 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 hold up. It uh, messed up the, uh, messed up my center because I was looking down at the chat when the game started. All right, first time driving this car. She's pretty quick. Oh boy, it spins out pretty easy though. That rear wheel drive. We'll have to be careful, there's a big turn up here too. Try not to spin this 
car out. out too man. Oh what the rev limiter is that? Nine grand right there. Just past nine and then hits the rev limiter. I'm loving Grand Turismo 7. Uh, paired with the Yaw 2 and a wheel. Like I said, Fanatec's on the way. The, the Grand Turismo DD Pro, so super hyped to try that thing out. I've never had a direct drive wheel before, so. Should be a pretty big improvement over this uh, Logitech wheel. I don't know if I'm going to go straight for the uh, the boost pack though. If I'm going to use that right away or just stick with like, because you need to either do the five newton meter or the nine, I think, with the boost pack. So I might just stick with the five and see how that thing is and see how the all two handles it as well. I don't know all that extra torque and stuff on this thing. I'll have to try that out. all that torque. Is five going to be enough? I don't know what these things are, like the Logitechs. I don't know what like they're rated at, but... Too much fun though, even the rumble this y'all put through the seat is like adds so much to the experience, it's ridiculous. So I can see how like the base shakers and stuff, people that do like the base shakers on their on their seats, I can see how that would really add a lot to it. I've seen actually people add base shakers to the y'all as well. I don't know. Because this thing already puts out a decent amount of vibration, I feel like. I wonder how much that would really add to the experience. chat inside the PSVR 2 headset that would be that would be ideal hopefully that's coming at least I hope how about a little BMW one three I need some more money though I only got like half a million I want to buy some crazy cars, but. For what it is, the all seem fairly priced. Yeah, I got mine crazy cheap. I got this thing for like a thousand bucks. I wanted y'all, but it doesn't make sense anymore. Too bad, too expensive. I mean, I don't think they're too expensive. The bad thing is, is just when you can get one, you know what I mean? Go to the garage. Okay, okay. So, can I, let's see. Can I quit this and come back? I think I can, right? I'm scared. I don't want to have to start over. Ooh, got old school BMW. 
Oh yeah, I should be able to because it's not a three-part race. All right, go to the garage. That's where you do the roulette tickets, I think. Let's see if I can get some sweet cars through that. Or some money, or some money. Maybe I get a cool BMW I can see up. All right, there's the garage. So let's go, let's go here and just do it on the screen for right now. I need to move that over some. Okay, so where do I go? Gifts, okay. See, I got seven of them in there. I didn't know how to do it. So let's start with these one star ones. Receive this gift, yes. I need to keep my glasses on under my y'all so I can see the chat better. Ah, almost got a sweet 370. Got a little bit of money, two grand, okay. I'm thinking about getting a Woozer strap and strapping it to my gearbox or under my pedals to get the feel. So Sim Racing Studio also makes one uh, that goes on the seat. Oh man, I got like no money now because I upgraded some cars. I had like 500,000. Let's see what I get here. Once I buy my home, I'm 100% getting a y'all to pair my PSVR too and I don't blame it, it's so much fun. So which one's more, the gold bar or the, oh man, I keep getting like the littlest pot. The littlest pot ever face is so red <laughs> my forehead is so red too all right two stars so those are both one star so let's see if we can get a little bit higher here the top ones are three star roulette tickets uh, give me that stack of gold bars come on <laughs> again like the smallest pile 10 grand that's a little better Oh, it's got D say get used to that. It's 99% of the time it's the lowest pot. That figures. I feel like in uh, uh, Forza Horizon 5, you can get some sweet stuff like through their roulette system. You can win some sweet cars and stuff. Yeah, I want a car. What is that thing? A Z? 370Z? The bad thing is I just bought one of those like the other day to do some of the Asian races in. This one might be, I don't think mine's like a Z performance though. That must be like one of the higher packs. That's pretty cool. Level up. Missions unlocked. Moby Dick. I don't know what that is. We might have to check it out. Check out some Moby Dick. I mean Moby Dick. That did not sound right. Let's see what else we got here. Give me all them stack of gold bars. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh man, I was so close. I thought I was going to get that big stack, 5,000. This is not adding up very quick. I hope that three star is pretty cool. Should we go back and finish those races or go see what Moby Dick is? Ooh, we got three cars in here. Check out that little Miata. Where's Todd? Is Todd in here? Oh, again, the smallest stack. Man, you are not lying, Scott, dude. 10 grand. That's ridiculous. They should give you, give you the top tier ones, man. All right, three star, what we got in here? Doesn't even look like any of the two star ones look better than this. Of course, the smallest thing again. So ridiculous. All right, well, there's all my roulette tickets. Let's go see what Moby Dick is. I'm gonna stick this back on. I'm gonna try to put it on with my uh, um, glasses. That way, hopefully I can see chat a little bit better when I peek through. I don't normally wear this thing with my glasses, but I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I'll be a better racer, because maybe I'll be able to see better. All right. You know what's kind of crazy, though? I feel like I see the mirror a little bit more <laughs> than I normally do without. Maybe because my eyesight's not that good. I don't notice it as much, because I didn't wear my glasses in the, uh, Oh man, I really do see it more. That is so weird. It's the first time I've worn my glasses in my own headset, but I did wear them in uh, the demo at CES. Okay. Where are these? I'm not good at drifting. I need some... Uh... Can I race in that car? Let's try this. Let's try this. This car might be sweet. Ooh, 
Yeah. Oh man, this thing stops fast. in these. That's going to be so hard for me because I'm going to hit people all the time. All right, let's try to not wreck anybody. I'm in sixth place, though. This is going to be so hard for me not to wreck. I'm not sure I can't go off track either. Now I'm way more nervous knowing I can't hit anybody. What if they hit me like that? That's not even fair. You saw me going around him on the inside. Oh man, my view got messed up. It's so funny because it's like where you're looking in the headset when the race starts is like where it locks your position. Why do I see the mirror so much more with my glasses on? That is so weird. guys without barely even touching either one of them. And I can't go off the road. Okay, I'm over this one. That's going to be so hard for me. Adjust high PD, perhaps maybe reduce brightness a bit. Yeah, I have to turn the brightness down a little bit. But I know a lot of people are saying to turn it way down. Like, I think sadly, it's Bradley set it down to like 0%. I don't, I don't really want to do that. But I guess it helps some. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely there more. I need to reset up the uh, the eye tracking as well, though. I do need because I haven't done that. I haven't redone that in a little while, so definitely need to do that. Let's go back to my races. What's this American update? What is that? What does that mean? What's the little update thing? Let's do this in the Corvette. Because this car is fun. Even though it's not part of my menu books. This car is fun to drive. Got this car doesn't turn. After driving those other cars, this car is like does not turn at all. Or stop. It doesn't turn and it doesn't stop. It's like driving a tank. Stop or turn, the car does pretty good. Oh, geez, brake check. Oh, geez, another brake check. Ah. Ah. Sweet track, though. I don't think I've been on this track yet. Snap on. Here too. 
was a sweet track though. I wish this car turned a little bit better, but it's still fun. Probably a coat I knocked out there <laughs> at some point. Last lap. See, so now you guys can come here and watch this, and then in like a month or two, come back. See how much I learned and how much better of a driver I am. If that happens. Or I'll be just as terrible as I am now. You never know. Knock it out of the way for the other guys. screen. <laughs> My bad. What up Lincoln Clay? I saw him, he was racing a little bit earlier. He would whoop up on me though, he is way better racer than me. For real. Sorry, I didn't realize I had it on that view the whole time for that race. But uh, so James said, are you liking those SRS levels? I do. I still think I like them a little bit higher than this. These are pretty good, but I, I just like a lot of movement. 
All right, I gotta go finish my BMW race, so let me go change my car. I don't know what time it is. This might have to wrap it up after this one. Unfortunately, I gotta go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> I've been off for a little while because of having the baby. And tomorrow is doomsday, and I have to go back. All right, let's do the Nurburgring. Third place or higher. This car should do all right. Link Clay's still in here. I did order a Fanatec. I got the uh, Gran Turismo DD Pro. I ordered it. It's supposed to be here Thursday, so pretty soon. I'm super hyped. Pushing on my way a little bit there. This car definitely brakes and turns better than the Corvette. The Corvette's definitely oh, a little faster, but. Probably do some suspension work to that Corvette though. Help it out a little bit. This old BMW does pretty good though. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but I think revs out like a monster though. Like nine and a half grand or nine, just over nine grand, I guess. <laughs> Spun out a little bit there. At least I didn't go crazy off the track though. Oh, at least it kind of stayed on the track. That was a fun ride. Let's try not to spin out on that turn again. I don't know what turn it was, but let's try not to spin out this time.
buddy. Hold it off. Whew. So that should be, I think, was it the last one of his mini bugs? We'll get more. DD Pro 8 Noon Meters goodness. Oh man. I, I got the boost pack and everything. I got the three pedal kit. I got the shifter. And uh, so I think I'm gonna try out that five Noon Meter first and then go for that eight. Man, that's gonna be intense. I don't know. Hopefully this y'all too can handle it. They sell a couple other uh, they, they have the center mount and uh, they're doing a whole new base that mounts in the platform that's supposed to be like super strong. So I might upgrade to that at some point, but hopefully this rig right here will handle it. We'll see, I guess we'll find out. I don't know though. All right, let's go, what time is it? 9.20, yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty soon. Let me go see what the next menu book is real quick. all those ones cafe man did you guys see the discord today i had a vanilla cola coffee it's cold coffee and it was actually really good there's some special i actually ordered two coffees because i didn't know if i was gonna like it oh man another three star roulette ticket that's not gonna give me anything let's see here but it was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. Super different, but I don't care that much about BMW, sorry. All right. Alpha, man, there's gonna be a lot of books. Just now to Alpha Romeo. Reward is a roulette ticket. All right, let's go see what this roulette ticket is though. What I just got. At least now I know how to do them. Back to the garage. I guess I should have known because it had an indicator on there, but let's see what it is. Yes. Give me something good. Ooh, give me a car. Give me that RX-7. Nope. Smallest prize pot again. Ten grand. I need some money. Real. What's this? Got a lot of cars. I got an R8. I don't know that. Go drive this R8. I wish there was just like, is there like just a free roam? Like, I don't know. My favorite car that I have so far is definitely the uh, GT3 Huracan. That thing's pretty sweet. Where's this R8? There it is. Hmm. I do got a rally car. Got a couple. Most of these are stuff I've won. Some of them I bought. But, alright. I should probably get out of here though. Like I said, gotta get back to work tomorrow. So, that is the plan for tomorrow. But it was fun. Uh, next time I probably stream this game, I'm probably going to be streaming with the Fanatec. Maybe this later this week. I think we're doing a copy and VR show as well this Saturday. I would think the chair would tilt more going around turns. It really de depends on the car. Like some cars and, and if there's a bank and stuff, then it will roll. But it seems like it's very specific to cars. Like some cars feel like they don't almost don't roll at all where other cars feel like they will a lot. And a lot of times, especially if you wreck, it'll kind of roll around. So it's a little bit different in Gran Turismo. I feel like you definitely feel it more in like a set of PC VR and stuff like that, but it still does it decently in here. So but anyways, I'm going to get out of here, so I will see you guys. The next time I see you guys will probably be in this with the Fanatec stuff, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I might do a live stream or at least a video of stuff, setting it up and all that stuff. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. But uh, if I don't see you before then, we'll see you Saturday for Copy and